Well, first, I'd like to just, you know, welcome everyone here this morning. Thanks for coming out. Uh, for us, we're excited about, you know, this being our second year in the Big 12. Uh, we're looking forward to continuing to get better as we go through the process. I thought last year, our first year in the conference, uh, was a year that we really competed well as far as, you know, on a nightly basis, having to face, you know, these opponents in these amazing arenas, these, uh, these amazing coaches, and a lot of talented teams. I was really proud of our guys' overall effort, the way we were able to go out and compete. And we want to continue to build on that. You know, I think being where we are in Orlando, we have a chance to really continue to grow and get better as we go forward. And we're excited about the future, you know, of our program. And we're excited, of course, to be in the Big 12. Okay, please raise your hand and we'll get a wireless microphone to you. Um, please remember to give us your, your name and your affiliation as you ask your question. Okay, we've got a question over here on the uh, right. Hey, Johnny. Myron Metcalf, uh, ESPN. You have a stretch where New Year's Eve, you go to Lubbock to play Texas Tech. You come back, you host Kansas and Colorado. And then you go 2,000 miles to play Arizona and Arizona State. How much have you thought about the impact of travel with the expansion of this league? Well, definitely. It's, it's going to impact everyone. Uh, we all are going to have to play schedules in which we, we travel different time zones. And you have to get used to that. You know, for me, you know, having played in the NBA, you know, early in my career, uh, I'm kind of used to that, yeah, to being able to make that uh, transition, uh, although it's very difficult. Uh, we have to understand we have to prepare ourselves properly before we leave to go on those trips and when we return it's all going to be about you know resting proper your nutrition all the things to take care of your body uh, when you're traveling and to play games in different time zones so uh, that's what we want to you know have that discussion with our guys and, and we will and try to make sure we're as prepared as possible to be as competitive as we possibly can be Okay, we've got two on the front row here in the middle. Hey, Coach. Uh, Matthew Postens, Heartland College Sports. Just wanted to follow up on Jalen from the injury the other night. How's he doing? Do you guys have a prognosis or a timeline on when he might come back? Uh, not at the moment. There's no, no timeline, uh, no prognosis as far as, uh, you know, where he is at this stage. But uh, he's home. He's resting. And so we'll see. You know what happens. You know, we're taking it day by day. But, uh, you know, the young man is, you know, a terrific young man. Uh, it was tough what happened, you know, during our exhibition game. But uh, he's, he's in good spirits and he's moving forward. Do we have another one in here in the front row? Oh, you good? Yeah, again, over here on the right. Johnny, what was uh, the evaluation process for you as you brought on Mikey, uh, and what were those conversations like? Well, when we brought you know Mikey in, you know, of course we met. We, we do our due diligence. We want to, you know, you know, see if the young man is the right fit for our program, like we would do with any young player. And uh, we do that for every single player that that we admit into our university. And when we do our due diligence and we go through everything, and then you know we make a decision. And fortunately, I have a university that, uh, you know, trusts, you know, me and, and my evaluation process. And I think they did an amazing job at, you know, taking in the information and making, you know, a decision to, uh, to enroll him. And he's been terrific. I mean, every sense of the word. I mean, he's been terrific on and off the court. Uh, every day, you know, he's been a joy to coach. And that's what it's about, you know, giving young people, you know, second chances. And, and you know, this young man is, you know, a teenager and, you know, things happen, you know, unfortunately in our lives. And if we were in a world where no one got second chances, I don't know where any of us would be right now. And so uh, I'm, I'm just really proud of our university for, for t taking that type of stand. And, uh, and the young man has been terrific, you know, every day that he's been with us. 